In this physics example problem, you'll see how to calculate the frequency for a standing wave for a string fixed at both ends. So the string has a length of 1.3 meters. The mass of the string is 0.6 grams. And anchored at both ends with a tension in the string of 60 newtons. We want to know the fundamental frequency and also the frequency of the next uh, harmonic. So let's uh, show a picture here of um, the anchoring, the length labeled. There's a node at the left and right ends, an antinode in the middle where there's maximum displacement of the string. I've shown it for three cases, up, middle, and should have drawn a little lower, but uh, the amplitude is in the middle uh, between the two fixed ends. There's a relationship between the speed of a wave, the wavelength, and the frequency of the wave. So we want to determine this frequency. We're going to need to know the speed of the wave on the string and the wavelength. Let's first take a look at the wavelength. This distance L from node to node, that's half of a wavelength. Though the wavelength is 2 times L, the wavelength is 2.6 meters. The speed of the wave on the spring is equal to the square root of the tension divided by mass per unit length. We know the tension. We have to calculate the mass per unit length. We're given the mass. We're given the length. I'm converting grams here to kilograms. So 0 0.6 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms divide by the length. And we get a value for mu of 4.615 10 to the minus 4 kilograms per meter. Now we can calculate the speed of the wave. <clears throat> and you should pause the video and use your own calculator to confirm this number. But I came up with 360.6 meters per second. I tend to not round off until the end of the problem. And we can calculate the frequency. Because we know the speed of the wave and the wavelength, we find 138.7 hertz. 138.7 hertz. And I didn't round off because I wanted to show the relationship to the next harmonic. First, the picture for the next harmonic. I put in another A and N in the middle compared to what we have up here. Up here, we only have an A. Now there's going to be two A's and an N. They have to alternate. So node on the left, then antinode, node in the middle, antinode, and node at the end. How is L related to the wavelength now? Well, node to node, that's a half wavelength. Node to node, that's a half wavelength. So in fact, L is equal to our wavelength in this second case. And we're doing here the second harmonic. But um, let's find the frequency of the second harmonic. We need speed of the wave. You already have that. We need the wavelength. So we can divide those numbers. And I find 277.4 hertz. And if you notice, this uh, second harmonic, if I multiply the fundamental frequency by 2, I find the second harmonic. And in fact, that's the relationship for the harmonics. I didn't actually have to work this out. If I realize that uh, all the harmonics are present, even and odd, that's the case for a string anchored at both ends. If the string is free to flop up and down on one end, then uh, the even harmonics are missing. We only have the odd harmonics. But here, anchored at both ends, any harmonic can be found by taking an integer, whether it's the second or third or fourth or fifth harmonic, times the fundamental frequency. So to uh, solve this problem, we needed information on both the wavelength and the speed. This formula gives us the speed and a, a string under tension. The wavelength comes from our analysis of the uh, how many half wavelength segments there are from end to end. So ask your instructor if you have questions on this. Uh, replay the video. If you'd like some other uh, short lectures and uh, short example problems, uh, go to these websites and you'll see them listed with a description, how long they are. And there's a link that takes you directly to the YouTube video. If you uh, find these uh, videos helpful, uh, please subscribe to my channel.